Goosebumps. The series ran from 1995 to 1998. Horror for children might seem a bit like an oxymoron of sorts, but children love to read about characters their own age in scary situations. The even more wildly successful Harry Potter series, as long as they can reassure in the back of their minds that everything is going to turn out okay in the end. Stein nailed the formula in the Goosebumps series, both in the books and on the TV show. Kids eat it up, and parents will find the child protagonist semi-life-threatening situations in the book and in the TV show acceptable for kids 9 to 13. The production for the TV episodes are stellar. In fact, they're downright campy. But I think kids, while use the spectacular TV visuals of Harry Potter films, will find them to be entertaining and fun. Parents can often be hard pressured to find spine-tingling viewing material for their tweens' slumber and horror parties. Many Halloween specials are baby stuff, and most Halloween films are too mature. These TV shows maintain no bad language, other than some other name-calling. And the only gore you'll likely find is the form of a green slime. Each episode is about 20 minutes. If you want to check it out on Netflix, I suggest you do so. But that's it for my quick review on this show. Goosebumps gets a 7.8 out of 10. This is Red Wolf signing out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.